Hey guys, James here from Replica Reviews and I finally got around uh, to picking up one of these brand new Umarex Colt SAA45s or the Colt Peacemaker as it's more, uh, more commonly known. Now I've been trying to get hold of one of these since I first found out they were coming out and luckily our local uh, RFD has managed to get a load in. So as you can see it comes in this really nice little box and it's kind of uh, a wood-esque finish. They've kind of gone for the uh, original Colt box that these things used to used to come in but in true Umarex fashion it's been done quite tastefully obviously just a little picture on the side and then just telling you that it's still BB 12 gram CO2 single action only as the uh, the title kind of gives away six rounds and it uses these little cartridge um, capsules to hold your, your pellets or your, your BB should I say in place and I have to say they work really well but we'll go on to that further on in the review so opening up the box you see that you get the usual really you just got your little user manual um, and it's just got the basics, you know, how to load it in virtually every language under the moon. Um, and, you know, don't shoot yourself in the face and all the rest of it. Just common sense stuff, really. Um, and then obviously just the gun itself. And as you can see, it's a fine looking gun. Now we have gone for the antique version. Um, I just genuinely thought it was the better kind of finish. The blued one, you know, I'll go in to explain this later on, but the blued one just wasn't my cup of tea. It looked beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't my thing. And the nickel one, I just couldn't stand the grips. But as I say, we'll get the box out of the way, we'll set everything back up, and we'll crack on with the rest of the review. So now we've got it out of the box, you can see the gun in all of its glory. And I have to say, Umarex have really stepped up their game here. Now I'm going to say from the start of this uh, review, as I'm sure you've seen in other reviews, I am not a revolver person. I've never been a fan of them. Never really got on with them, um, but this really has changed my mind on revolvers. Now, straight off, it is a full metal construction. Um, pretty much all of the frame that you can see here, the cylinder, um, all of the other bits and pieces, trigger, etc., are metal. The grips, however, are plastic. Um, they do look like wood. They are very authentic looking grips, but they are indeed plastic, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but all of the your covers here, your hammer, etc., you know, it's all metal, which is an absolute bonus. Now, for anybody that's not familiar with the Colt Peacemaker, watch a couple of Western films. Uh, you see all the guys running around uh, the West in America, firing these things at each other. Um, and, you know, it's one of the most iconic revolvers. You go to any of these uh, kind of what I call Western reenactment groups, cowboy groups, uh, they've all got uh, at least one Colt Peacemaker in their armory somewhere. Now, obviously, being with a Umarex product as such, uh, they do have the joys of having all of the licensed trademarks. Now you can see at the top here it's got Colt Single Action Army 0.45, um, you know, again authentic markings there. And you just got the little uh, Colt horse there, little serial number, patent number, etc. And if I flip it over, you can see you've got your Colt traditional logo on the side, and then just a couple of basic things. You've obviously got your uh, Serial number on the side here, the F obviously for the German market to show that it's not going to kill anybody. Um, and then just saying cow 4.5 brackets 177. And for anybody that isn't familiar with this, uh, this pistol, hasn't seen it go around on the internet, it is a BB pistol. Now one of the really neat features on this gun is obviously being a single action only gun, it only rotates etc when it's half cocked. Obviously you can move the cylinder around etc. So this is where you do all of your loading, unloading etc. Now you can open this port here and as you can see line the the, uh, the fake shells up. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can either eject them out like so, um, just using gravity, or as I'll demonstrate in a second, you can even use the uh, what would be a ramrod, because obviously these shells on the real one, um, as they're fired, they expand, and they might just be a little bit stiff coming out. So uh, they basically just use the rod to, to kind of ram the empty casings out. Now obviously only being an air pistol, we don't have to worry about uh, shell expansion, or if you do, you're going horribly wrong. But one thing that's quite unusual with these shells, opposed to the ones from the Dan Weston, for example, is you load them through the bottom. Now you can just see there the uh, the little uh, gusset to push it in there, it seals perfectly. So you essentially get sort of three quarters of an inch of extra barrel to a certain degree. And then you just load it in, close it down like that, and then you're good to go. And now the ramrod that I was trying to explain here is situated at the front. And you just push this up, and obviously you can see the shell goes in and out. Now, one of the most satisfying parts about this revolver has to be the ratchet action. Now, just listen to this. Now, I challenge you to find an air pistol that sounds that good loading. Um, I'm yet to find one. 
Uh, I'll keep looking, uh, but this has certainly sent the benchmark pretty high. Now, as you can probably tell from this review here, I've gone for what's described as the antique top version, which basically means it's just been thrown through a hedge backwards, um, sandpapered and just abused, really. Um, and it gives it this really kind of authentic used look. Now, they do have two other versions available. You've got a, uh, a kind of a polished nickel version, which thankfully they haven't done in the uh, the same finish as they did with the Colt Python, and it's not mirror finish. Um, it's been quite subtly done. The only thing I didn't like about that is it comes with white kind of pearl um, ivory-esque grips. They just really want my cup of tea. Um, they also do a blued version, which looks showroom pristine. Like it's possibly the nicest version out there. My only problem with getting a blued gun is obviously every time you touch it, pick it up, you've got fingerprints all over it and you end up spending most of your time cleaning it than you do actually shooting it. Again, the grips on there are a, uh, it's almost like a, uh, what do you call it, artificial wood, just plastic grips, but they look very similar to these. But I think as colour combinations go and finish combinations go, this is probably my favourite one of the two. Now loading CO2 on this one, they thankfully kept a few of their extra little features, which I quite like. Um, so first kind of featured really on the Colt Python is this handy little Allen key that's built in to the grip so basically you'll never have to worry about forgetting your Allen key and then the CO2 simply fits inside the grip like so you just tighten it up with a bolt on the bottom and then when you're done you simply pop the grip back on that's worth noting at this point at the bottom of the grip hopefully coming out there you can see there's a little indent that's just enough for you to get your finger in um, and flick it off and obviously just clip it in place. So that's really it with the Colt. Um, the only thing I can other sort of highlight is the, the sights. Now for people that are used to your kind of half picture frame CZ75 sights, this is gonna be a bit of a wake up call. Obviously you've got a traditional front post at the end of the barrel, but the, uh, the rear, as you might be able to see, it's just a groove just in front of my thumb here. And it is really, really low profile, as you hopefully kind of see there. Um, it definitely takes some getting used to, but obviously with guns like this, they're usually drawn and shot quicker um, than anybody could uh, really use the sights. So that's pretty much it for the review. What I will say is if you want to see a further in-depth view, um, and a, a, I'm going to do a full firing view as well, keep watching on our YouTube page. I'll get further videos of this gun in action up um, pretty soon. I've got a boot full of ammunition and CO2 cartridges, so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get a decent firing review as such done for it. Thank you very much for watching. I've also taken a few um, pictures, things like that. If you want to go and check out our Facebook page, um, simply search Replica Reviews on Facebook and we should be somewhere up there in the top results. It's a little community we've got building up really. I think we've got about sort of 430 people on there at the moment. Uh, we're doing monthly giveaways as well, free competitions. Thanks to the guys at Solware. Um, they're just donating various bits and pieces for us to hand out um, after our little competitions. So. I won't blabble on anymore. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more information, feel free to check out our Facebook page, like I say, or just post a comment in the comments box below.